Hi everybody, I'm Darren Moore and you're watching Reggae Boys Commentary. Hey guys, thank you so much for taking your time out to watch this video in particular. But let me give you an update on a channel called Sport City. Yes, Sport City. It is a channel dedicated to everything related to Jamaican sports. Football, cricket, athletics, netball, rugby league, rugby union, tennis, lacrosse, swimming, you name it, we got it on Sport City. And what is the channel designed to do? It is designed to highlight Jamaican talents across all of those sporting disciplines. If you're a Jamaican and you're playing that sport, then we got you covered on Sport City. So it's quite simple, guys. Hit the subscribe button to Sport City right now. This video is brought to you by MPEC Printery, specializing in t-shirt printing, posters, and shipping from the USA. Call 876-775-6692 or 876-337-7374. Andy Gone Nuts, 100% guaranteed fresh coconut water delivered straight to your door. Call 876-309-6128. That's 876-309-6128. Refreshing and affordable. For more information, follow them on Instagram at Andy Gone Nuts. Mmm, truly refreshing. And Crumble by Mrs. C. Old English fudge and other delectable sweet treats. Call or WhatsApp 876-586-0471. That's 876-586-0471. This video is also brought to you by BLC Jamaica Security Electronics. Specializing in alarm system, video surveillance, camera system or CCTV, barrier system, gate automation, and access control. Call 876-320-7711. That's 876-320-7711. Or 876-351-1105. That's 876-351-1105. Hello everyone, how is everyone doing? I'm Simon Preston and welcome back to Reggae Boys Commentary. This is the channel where we come together to discuss everything in relation to Jamaican football. This is your hub for everything Jamaican football related. So as you can see, well, great things to talk about and that is in relation to mm -hmm, a reggae girl. A reggae girl that is on the move, a reggae girl has got an opportunity to ply her trade outside of North America, and specifically Europe. And that is none other than Sydney Michelle Schneider. Who is Sydney Michelle Schneider? Well, she's a 23-year-old goalkeeper that now applies her trade with Sparta Prague in the Czech Women's First League. This is, of course, the top tier of football within the Czech Republic. Now, Sparta Prague, the club that she's at right now, they finished second in the Czech Women's First League last year, and they've been champions of the Czech Republic 12 times. Well, to be quite frank with you, they've won it 21 altogether. When you when you bear in mind the, the titles that they won when it was the country was called Czechoslovakia, and now the country called Czech Republic, so cumulatively 21 titles. This is the most successful club in the history of Czech football for women the most successful club. And you know what's so funny in terms of since 1994, it's either been Sparta Prague or Slavia Prague. Sparta Prague or Slavia Prague. Sparta Prague or Slavia Prague in terms of the title. And Sydney has joined a club that are the most successful team in the history of Czech football. Now, it is a bit unfortunate they're not playing in the latter stages of the UEFA Women's Champions League. However, however, if they continue on the path that they're on right now, which is Sparta Prague, and continue to 
top the table as they are right now because Sparta Prague are at the top with 29 points and Slavia Prague second with 28 points. So if it continues right now as it is at this point in time, then we're looking at a scenario where, yep, believe it or not, they could finish top of the table. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's where things are right now. And then after that, of course, you'd have the championship group. The top team qualifies for the UEFA Women's Champions League. So that's where we are right now. Mm -hmm. Good news, isn't it? So what are my thoughts about this movie as it relates to Sydney in particular? Personally, I think it's a great opportunity for Sydney. I was hopeful that when she was playing her trade in North America after being drafted to the the top flight league in the United States, that the opportunities would come at the Washington Spirit, but it didn't come, as I would have thought. However, she's now in an environment where she will get the games. And when you bear in mind the World Cup is just about six months away, she's going to need those minutes. She's going to need that playing time to be competitive, to be sharp, to be able to compete with Rebecca Spencer, Yasmin Jameson, Leah Brooks, to fight for a, pl uh, a spot in the 23. If Sydney was not playing games, you know, it would be a concern to the World Cup, bearing in mind, you know, you could consider form. Would she be rusty heading into the World Cup? Would there be concerns over fitness? But when you have that those games, then certainly it is something that should be embraced, something that should be acknowledged. And from Sydney's point of view, it's something you have to be commended. It's a Europe. She's playing for the best team in Czech Republic and also a team that is no pushover in Europe as well. So I commend Sydney for this move. I commend her agent for this move. This is a move that has been in the works for a couple of weeks now. And I'm very happy that this is something that has fallen into place. Work permit secured and the deal is now officially over the line. As you guys know, in the past we have talked about potential movement of a reggae girl to the Czech Republic. This is now over the line. And you know, it's so funny. She's actually going to be very, very close to another reggae girl, as you know, in Prague. In, in, in Prague. We have three teams in Prague. And Lika Keen plays for Slavia Prague. So they're going to be very, 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 very close to each other so they can explore the city together and basically mingle with one another, you know. So it's great news. And personally, I feel that this is a, a great opportunity. Timor Peterkin says, good evening, Simon. Good evening, Timor. How are you doing? Hope you and everyone are doing well. Guys, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? I'm giving you this opportunity right now. What are your thoughts about the content on this channel? Are you, are you happy with the content on this channel? Are you happy with the content that you see? Do let me know your thoughts and smash the like button. Really, really would love to hear from you where, where this is concerned. And just to update you, of course, there's a camp going on in Florida right now, and it ends tomorrow. And the players that are part of that camp, basically, as we know, the players apply the trade in Europe are not part of this camp, but the likes of Jody Brown, Kiki Van Zanten, Giselle Washington, Cameron Simmons, Peyton McNamara, Rachel Jones, Maria Gray, Leah Brooks, Serena Mensa, Malia Atkins, Zoe Matthews, Logan McFadden, Malika Days, Michaela Days, Amelia Van Zanten, aka Mimi, Saleh Washington, Havana Salone, Satara Mori, Chena Matthews, Tanya Plummer, Lauren Reed, Israela Groves, Tierney Wiltshire, Yasmin Jameson, Deanna Burnett, Trudy Carter, Sydney Bellamy, and Shadi Adam Alekan. Those are the, the Ricky girls that are in camp. So we wish them all the best in this camp. Hopefully that they can go and impress and make great strides. That would be the next step. And we look forward to some moves that, that, that progress as it relates to the next step for these players, you know. So hopefully it's something that can work well. Team Briggins as he's good. Great channel as always. I appreciate your recommendation. Thank you very much, sir. 
Blair video says, evening, Simon. Evening, how are you doing? Wicked man burp, or should I say, uh. <laughs> <laughs> says, since we're talking about Sparta Prague on the men's side, I know they had shown interest in Busy Atkins, and I'm curious why it didn't the move didn't materialize. So he had gone on trial overseas to another club that was showing interest, and basically he's awaiting word if that is successful. That is the latest from Rudolf Speed. So it, it gives the impression that priority is given to the latest sort of stint. And as you know, in the nature of football, you can have interest and then it cools six months later. So that's the, the reality of the situation for some players in particular, you know. But when Rudolf Speed came on Wednesday, he basically was making the point that we'll have to wait and see. All right, may definitely change it back to Wicked Man Chris. <laughs> wicked Man Burp. It says Wicked Man Burp, so it's Wicked Man. So every time I see a name, I say Wicked Man. Uh. <laughs> uh, you, know, you guys know I'm just making fun, right? Yeah, you guys know I'm just making fun. Did any Jamaicans get drafted? No reggae girl got drafted to the NWSL and, and the draft quite recently. No nationals got drafted. This campaign. I oh, don't know Jamaicans. No Jamaican internationals were drafted. Uh, the bulk of players, well, out of the 48 persons that were drafted, only two were non-Americans. One was a Mexican, Reina Reyes, and also there was an English woman in Nicole Douglas. Apart from that, it's been all Americans from Alyssa Thompson to the likes of Michelle Cooper in the draft itself. You know, so those are the players in particular. Lashante? Lashante? Okay, I understand, but Slavia and Sparta are always in Europe. Honestly, busy should have gone instead of going on trial, but, and I can bet you it is a team that is not playing European football. He went on trials. I'm, I'm trying to find out that team in particular, but basically, I understand what you're saying in terms of European football and commitments, and my honest view is that a club has its priorities and their priorities is not about letting their best players go cheaply. And I, I think that's fair. I don't think, I'm sure Mr. Speed would agree that he would never, ever, ever want Dwayne Busy Atkinson, Richard King, Jamoy Topi, Jadeen White, Kyle Ming to leave for peanuts. And why should he? Because these are some outstanding assets at his football club. It He wouldn't want them to leave for peanuts. And then you have the other side of the angle that, that, and you have to think, okay, for Jamaican football, for the national team, for progression. So that's what another angle could be analyzed and looked upon, you know? So that's something that could be brought to, to, to light as well. But for Sydney, I'm grateful for her happy with the growth and progress that she has made. And I think it's a great opportunity for her to, to make the progress that she has at this stage. So this is good. And hopefully 
this is the start of great things for Sydney, you know? So this is good news. So yeah. Oh, Lashante Paul, you're talking about Lashante Paul. I will do my due diligence and dig, my friend. I'll do my due diligence and dig for Lashante Paul, for sure. Brown Bear says, Bless up, Simon. Bless up. How are you doing? Hope you are doing well. I hope the family is also doing well as well. So, great to hear from everybody. And I hope everybody's Sunday has been progressive, has been, you know, relaxing. Hope everyone has had a time to reflect and look ahead. So I hope that that is something that we can bear in mind heading to this week. We'll hear from Coach Marin Gordon as he fine-tunes preparation for the under-17. So, yeah. Wickedman Burp says, oh, it was the business part, part. I hope your representatives are watching and owner need to spend pun busy. He's a quality player. Watch him today, man, bigger than the league. Busy is an absolute gem. Look, I remember because I commentated his games in Kasafa under 17 and under 15 level. I commentated his games alongside O'Keefe Cunningham and Buckley and Kimani Maxwell. So... I'm aware of his this young man's talent long, long before he was any star at, at Casey, long, long before the likes of him and Pearson came to fruition. So it wasn't any surprise to see the progression that he has made. Congrats, Sydney. Big side that hope she gets some playing time. Absolutely. Yes, I know she was injured for a while. I didn't know Giselle Washington and Kiki had younger sisters playing D1. Future looks right. Yes, Kiki's younger sister is Mimi, and I think Mimi also had a stint in the U.S. youth team as well. So they carry caliber as well. Oh, and by the way, folks, did you know that Michael Seaton as well was also involved in the U.S. setup at youth team level? I think he was under 15. Under 15 or under 16. But Michael Seaton was actually part of the U.S. setup at youth level as well. But, you know, eventually chose to suit up with Jamaica. Would his career have been different? Who knows? You know, at this stage, it's just speculation from that angle. But as it relates to Michael Seaton, 26, he's not over. Maybe a move back to the United States would help. Simon, you think more players should look to the Costa Rican League for more opportunities opposed to running to a USL MLS move or the false dream of moving to England? All right. So my honest opinion, Wicked Man Chris is not, is this that every player is different, just like every human being is different. And their skill sets will also depend on that as well. Now, if a player gets an opportunity between MLS and the Costa Rican League, then I would definitely encourage him to go to the MLS. That would be my first choice. Now, I'm not going to dissuade somebody from going to Costa Rica. So players like Javan East, players like, like Craig Foster, players like Siobhan Messi Marsh, players like Kemal Malcolm that have gone to Central America and play, I have no problem with players going there and playing because I know when it's time to play CONCACAF Nations League, when it's time for the CONCACAF Gold Cup, when it's time for... World Cup qualifying, I'll be relying on some of these players to give insight into the other members of the squad, the players in those leagues, the facilities, the, the atmosphere that could help. Maybe these players are not going to be first 11 players when the national team comes around, but they might be a part of the 23. And that could be crucial in a sense of showing and telling guys, Brian Ruiz, when it comes to the 80th minute, when he flicks back his hair, that means it's going to be a long corner kick. You know, just this, these little details 
And it's the details that makes the big difference at the end of the day, you know? So that is why it's something that we should be really, really looking towards and something that we should not be brushing aside as well. So to answer your question, I think every player is different. I don't think we should be looking at it as a, or oh, every player this league. So that's how I look at things in particular. And yeah, that's how I, I personally think. Mimi will be playing for Florida State University this season. Interesting. Thank you. I really, really appreciate that. Okay. All right, cool. Simon was speaking about running down a USL MS move even if there isn't enough of or, or a chance. If there isn't an MLS or USL move, then yes, Costa Rica, absolutely. Costa Rica, El Salvador, yes, 100%. 100%. I'm in support of that tenfold. Honestly, that's how I think it should be. Okay, Simon, what are your thoughts of the influx of overseas players in the JPL now? So, Mr. Speed spoke about the that Jamaica Premier League is 13th in CONCACAF, and we have a lot of work to improve that to be better than 13th and be one of the top 10 leagues in CONCACAF specifically. So, the overseas players that might come from the Eastern Caribbean, that might come from Central America, I don't have a problem with it. Just once at the end of the day for me, once eight players out of the starting 11 are Jamaican born players, then I, would, I wouldn't have a problem, honestly. I wouldn't have a problem at all. So that's how I feel about it. But guys, how proud are you about Sydney? Tell me exactly how you guys feel about this opportunity with Sydney Schneider. Are you happy? Are you content? Do you think this is a great opportunity? Tell me exactly how you feel about this. I'm eager to hear what you guys will have to say about this. Are you happy about this opportunity? Just let me know how you feel. All right, guys. Big, 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 big. Massive content to come this week. In particular, a couple of interviews planned. And I know you guys will be looking forward to that as well. So if you haven't already, smash the like button. And of course, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary for more content. This video is brought to you by MPEC Printery, specializing in t-shirt printing, posters, and shipping from the USA. Call 876-775-6692 or 876-337-7374. Andy Gone Nuts, 100% guaranteed fresh coconut water delivered straight to your door. Call 876-309-6128. That's 876-309-6128. Refreshing and affordable. For more information, follow them on Instagram at Andy Gone Nuts. Mmm. Truly refreshing. And Crumble by Mrs. C. Old English fudge and other delectable sweet treats. Call or WhatsApp 876-586-0471. That's 876-586-0471. This video is also brought to you by BLC Jamaica Security Electronics. Specializing in alarm system, video surveillance, camera system or CCTV, barrier system, gate automation, and access control. Call 876-320-7711. That's 876-320-7711. Or 
That's 876-351-1105.